In this video clip, I'm going to show you how to resize an image to fit a specific width and height. And I'm going to do it using a free resource available on the web, Banifans. And it's a website where you can create free banners. I'm signed into my account and I'm going to click create banner. And I already did that and it brought me to this page. And what I want to do is, I want to create a banner with an image I have on my computer. So I'm going to choose, I want to upload my own image. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either use a URL that you can fetch off the web, and or you, or you can um, use one on your computer. I'm going to use one on my computer because I know which one I want to use as a good example. But I'm going to click on my webmastersultimateresources.com page. And I'm just going to use my little banner. It's one of the first banners I ever created. And I still use it. I'm going to place my cursor over it. Right click. And I'm going to copy image location. And I'm doing this in the Mozilla Firefox browser. Every browser works a little differently. This one is Chrome. I'm going to place my cursor over the image, right click, save, Im oh, copy image URL. So it's this, it means the same thing, but they're using different terminology. But what I want to do is I want to use this banner that I have saved on my computer. This is a good example because this is a huge banner that I use on my Free Write Revenue Streams Facebook page. And I'm going to click the Browse button. Then I scroll down a bit, and here it is. I'm going to click it, Open. And I want it to, I want this banner to stretch to fit the size that I'm choosing. You know what? You know, we'll leave it as leaderboard. If you click on this arrow, you get to choose all these different sizes here and they tell you what they are. Or you could create custom size. So I, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to leave it up leaderboard, but you have to click present. There you go. And I want the image to be stretched to fit the size, but if there ever happens to be empty space and that's what you wanted, you could choose the colors to fill in that space. You just click on the color and you you choose a color that you like. And then you have to click update my banner. Wow, look at that. That's a really great example. Look at that. That's really cool. That image was stretched to fit the size that I chose, the 728 by 90 leaderboard. Now, if you take your cursor and move around the text, you can do that. I'm going to click text and fonts and I'm just you could do up to six lines of text but I'm just going to do one I'm going to write testing banner sizes you click on the arrow you have thousands of text fonts font fonts to choose from it's just it just goes on and on oh that's cool let's use that um, you get to choose the size, the color, choose a nice bright color so you see it. And you can choose the rotation. I'm going to stick with um, 20 or 10. I'll stick with 20. And then you have to click update banner again. Oh, that's too much for that banner. Let's go back. I'll, I'll choose 10. Update banner. Oh, at least it fits. That just makes it. But that's how that works. And then you do shadow and effects. You can click on the link underneath this video clip to learn how to use the banner fans to your advantage. There's a lot you can do. But the point of this video clip was to show you how to take an image off your computer and resize it to a size that you need for whatever task that you need, you need it for. And then you got your format. You could do your border and then your format. You want to, this is, you know, you choose the way you want to save the image. 
So that's how you work it, folks. That's how you can take an image and resize it to fit a specific width and height.